Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fabulously Frugal and Fancy. I'm Brandy. Today's video is some very easy, quick DIYs that are patriotic. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, let's go uh, make something fabulous. All right, let's get started here. I found this little red truck. It was on a clearance item, um, and I picked it up for, I don't know, five or six dollars. Not very expensive. That ribbon, uh, the red and white. Uh, I mean, sorry, the red and white stripes on one side, the other side is blue with stars. And so I thought that would be perfect to use here. And then I have a whole bunch of white flowers and so forth. So I'm taking a little piece of this ribbon and I want to make one of those little, I don't know, you see them on porches, they look like a swag. Um, just a little, I'm taking it and pleating it on one side and just kind of holding it there to try to get the shape that I'm looking for. I'm looking for one of those like half circle. There you go, just like that. So then I cut it. It is wire, so it does help it hold its uh, form till I can just kind of glue it together. And I just, again, I pinch it up at the top, just kind of do some little pleats. The wire is helping hold it and I'm just trying to do a little um, I do kind of fold the ends over just a little just to kind of give it a finished edge and I want to make a little um, I don't know what you'd call it a little thing to hang on the truck just a little decoration it, I think of when a truck is in a parade and they have like the bunting and the banners and everything on the the trucks so this is kind of what I was going for that kind of a look and again I just kind of pinch down the ends and I do add some glue to the back as well If I sound a little bit stuffy, I apologize. Um, there I am just adding a little bit of glue to the back just to give it a finished folded over seam. That wasn't where the wire was, so it wasn't folding. There's just wire on the end. So the ends were folding and the middle kept trying to stick up. So I just added a little uh, strip of hot glue and I just used my spatula there. Now this truck is metal. So I use hot glue on it, even though this is not gonna be uh, always a patriotic thing, but I can just heat up the hot glue and remove it very easily. This um, little star came from the pack, the vase filler pack at um, Dollar Tree, and I just glued it to that, and then I added some hot glue to the back, stuck it right on the side. This is a very easy, anybody could do DIY, looks like a little banner and then I just pull out my um, I started I was gonna do red and white flowers but um, I my, my red flowers are very large and they just took up a lot of space and I was just like oh I think I'll just stick with the white and I was really happy with how they turned out with just the white I believe I used hydrangeas in the back and um, if you've seen how I store my flowers if they've already been used I just stick them in large Ziploc baggies that I got from the Dollar Tree and I use pant hangers to hang them up on the rod in my room and see here I'm just kind of placing them in I didn't use any foam I didn't glue anything down I just took these very large bunches of the hydrangeas and I stuck them in there I didn't really like the red flower in there it just looked too full and it looked a little too squished. You couldn't really see it. And so I just left the white and there it is. That's DIY number one complete. Again, I told you these were very, very simple. Anybody could do these DIYs. If you find a little red truck, it will be very easy for you to make it, um, make it your own little patriotic decoration. Um, I had some blue foam there. I was thinking of cutting out some stars and putting them over the truck, but I thought it would be too much. I got this at a very inexpensive. It was just a few dollars. It's very, very flat. Uh, it's just foam on the back. I'm not sure the quality is, is not good at all. It's very wrinkled and very squished the way that it was packaged. I honestly was not happy with the quality of this It or like the, you know, what it was. So I just decided to try to use it and make something a little bit bigger. I tried to use my heat gun to flatten some of those out where they'd been folded under 
that didn't work too well but I do have a little mini iron and I did use that um, and that did flatten them out I just used my little silicone mat under it and just kind of press those to where they weren't sticking way out I mean sticking backwards I really didn't like how that as you can see it's upside down and they're all sticking backwards because the way they had it packaged it wasn't good at all and again this was not good quality so I'm not even gonna tell you where I got it because it was not good and so again I'm sorry I left this much in. I was letting my little iron heat up a little bit and I was gathering my other supplies I had uh, the United States shape that I had previously used. It's a wood cutout I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. And I was getting that together. Um, I had used it previously in a DIY, so I took it apart and I kept the wooden um, United States. And I had stained it blue uh, previously and put the word, I believe the word freedom on it, but I'm not sure which word I put on it. Um, We'll see here in just a moment. So I just used my little iron, flatten this out. You can make wreaths like this. I have never attempted one out of burlap. I think it would just be a lot of work to cut all of those shapes out and glue them all down. That's why I bought this for a few dollars. I thought it would be just, I didn't think it would be great quality at $3, but I thought it would be a little bit better than just a piece of foam on the back that bent up and did not do well but again it turns out looking pretty in the end I do end up later on having to staple the hanger on the back because the glue that was on it just did not hold I was considering putting something in between the petals of the flower to kind of puff it up a little bit but I you could see through the burlap, so I couldn't put foam or even like wadded up paper behind it because you would have been able to see it. And that was kind of what I was thinking was to kind of puff it up a little bit because this was very, very flat. I hope you all had a wonderful Memorial's Day. I want to say thank you to all the, the people who have served in our military of any stripe. My father is a former Marine, and so I am... I worked on an army base for quite a few years myself and I am very thankful and grateful to our military personnel and also to their families. Memorial Day is a time to give um, thanks, to give thanks especially, but it also to, uh, to just remember those who have fallen in the service of our country. And here I am just kind of taking the carnations and the flag off the back of this. I had you see the, the tape on the back, but there was hot glue under it as well. So it wasn't coming off very, very easily, but I managed to get everything off of the back here. And I did have to kind of heat it up with my little heat gun to be able, because I was afraid the wood is pretty thin. If you've seen these little wood cutouts, they're not very thick. I was afraid of breaking it. So I heated up the glue at the back, pulled that off. And then I'm just cutting off their ribbons and things because um, that was an old DIY. I try to reuse absolutely everything I can. I try not to spend more money on something. Yes, the word on there is freedom. And so I'm just trying to place where I want it. I end up placing it down here at the bottom, kind of in between some of the petals. I put some petals over the top and some under and I had a lot of hot glue underneath and over the top. Um, did have to go back in with some staples from behind. I don't show that on video but I do end up adding those because at first it just fell off. <laughs> I was trying to really salvage this cheap little thing and it turned out cute in the end so I can't complain too much. It did um, look pretty in the end and I'm just trying to spread out those petals a little bit so that they look and they're not covering up the word freedom and they're just kind of there and then I take more of that um, vase filler 
it's hard to see in my camera right now, but I'm just kind of, I was trying to see if it would actually stay. So I take some of the vase filler and I take some of the stars and I place them in the middle of the flower. And then I also place some down on the wood cutout of the United States. I just thought it added a little bit of sparkle. If you know me, you know I love sparkle. I love glitter. I love anything that shimmers and shines. So if I can add a little bit of sparkle to something, most likely I will. And so I add a few down here beside the word freedom. And again, a very easy DIY. Because I did not make the flower wreath, this turned out very, very easy. Um, you can get these pre-made that are very expensive for $50 to $100. Or you can get cheap ones like this that are three or four if you look on cheaper websites. And that is it for that one. Again, very, very simple. And my um, last two DIYs, there's just four in this one. They're both very easy. I got this. At the same place I've gotten the other one. Um, it is not 3D at all, it is just flat. I love this eagle with the feathers and the flag. I just, it just is beautiful and I love that. And, but it was just kind of insubstantial. Um, and so I had this little board that I had gotten at, um, it was a little sign that I had gotten. Where did I get that? Uh, Family Dollar or Dollar General? One of the two. Uh, it was like 90% off and I had cut off. It had picket fence rails at the top and bottom and I cut those off actually just at the top. That's why the blue tape is there because I used the, the saw and I cut those off previously and I didn't want it, like, it to break up so I just put painter's tape on there to, to do that. I tried hard to get the words off of this. That didn't work. They were glued down with, I don't know, like cement of some sort. Those were not coming off. <laughs> but that happens sometimes. Sometimes you think, oh, these words will come off really easy. It'll be a really cute sign. But that's okay. We go with it and we use um, some ribbon to kind of cover that. I use that um, same ribbon that I used before. I had this flag, it was, I pulled it off of the back of that. And I'm just kind of placing it behind. There was a big glob of glue there because there was something there. And so I'm just taking this flag off the flagpole. And I put it in the background just between those, um, those things there and I put this one up above a little bit because the when I removed it the edge was a little bit rough and then I was going to use this ribbon to cover the top and the bottom anyway so again very easy DIY take a sign that you already have take something and reuse it if you don't like the way it looks but you got it on clearance and it's cute here I was debating whether to use the stripes or the stars and I go with the, the blue with the stars on there I wrap it around the back and I just hot glue that down as well. I glue it to the front first and then I do flip it over um, and glue it to the back as well just to make sure that it is completely secure. This sign turned out really cute. It is very patriotic. And <laughs> it is very red, white, and blue and I've... Um, I love that, you know, I just love showing that I love my country. So I'm just gluing the flag down in place. The flag was very thin. I think it came from Dollar Tree originally. I do flip it over. I just add a little bit of hot glue to the back. Use my rubber spatula because I do not want to burn my fingers. I've done that many times and it hurts. So I try not to, you know, get my fingers involved <laughs> but if you can if you can prevent a, a hot glue gun burn and do crafting I don't know how you do it because I've been crafting for a very long time and I still tend to burn myself but I try I try hard to avoid sticking my fingers in it 
All right, so here I'm just kind of placing the eagle over the top. And I just kind of raise it up because I didn't know if I, I could get it placed down quick enough. And that is it for DIY number three. Again, these are all very, very easy. Now I'm taking that same ribbon and I'm cutting, I did not measure, as you can see, I have no ruler there. I'm just making them all the same size. And I believe I cut out 10 of these, 10 or 12 of these little pieces. And I do want them all to be the same size there I am counting because I was like, oh, I don't know exactly how many I need, but um, this is a very simple DIY. If you have some patriotic ribbon, you can do this very, very easily. Or if you even have patriotic material, it doesn't have to be ribbon. You could do this with just regular patriotic material as well. So depending on how long you want yours to be, will depend on how many little pieces you cut out. Um, again, I didn't have to cut out very many. I'm making a small little banner. My little shelf you'll see at the end that's in my entryway is not very big. It's a very tiny space. So I did not make mine very long, but you could make this as long as you wanted. You could add beads in between. Because this is two-sided, I'm just flipping it over. I do cut a little you know, I, I do the little banner thing, but I cut the little dovetail at the bottom of each one. Again, I'm not measuring these. If they're not exact, it's okay with me. None of them have to be perfect. Um, some of my little dovetail pieces were much wider, much longer. I, I didn't really worry too much about that because I think it looks cute in the end. Um, but because this ribbon is double-sided, I only have to use one ribbon, but if you only have a one-sided one, you could use two separate ones um, to make this little banner. And I'm just doing, you know, I'm going to do um, alternating one, the, the stripes and one, the stars, one, the stripes, one, the stars. And I don't add any beads or anything, but you easily could, if you wanted to add beads to this, you could do that as well. I didn't see the need to, to add anything else because again, my little area there is very small. And so I just wanted to add some patriotic decor right as you come in our front door. All right, so I just take my, this is white twine that I got off Amazon. And I'm just tying a little loop in the end of it. I didn't really need a loop. I don't have any hangers. I'm not sure why I didn't just do a knot um, because I don't have any hooks to hang this on up there on this little shelf. So, but I did make a little loop and then I just take my pieces and I'm just kind of spacing them out, do a few at a time. And it's very easy how I did these. I didn't do, um, I did it the most, the simplest way for me. And it was simply to add a little line of hot glue, fold the, or put the, the twine in the hot glue and then fold the top part down over a very very easy way to make a banner it turned out very cute and I love it I hope you like this one too if you are not subscribed to my channel I would ask you to subscribe as you watch me do this I am trying very hard to get to a thousand subscribers I've been working on it for a while I was hoping to get there by my birthday that was this month and I still haven't reached there yet I've gotten a few more subscribers but I've just kind of hit a little rut and that's partially my fault. I've not been uploading as much as I should have been. I've just been, things have been going on here at home and it's just not, nothing bad. It's just so much stuff goes on at the beginning of summertime. We've been working really hard in the backyard getting um, the wooded area cleared in our backyard. And it's just been a lot of work. So I haven't had, the, you know, a lot of extra time and I haven't been filming any of that back there because it's just you know, manual labor type stuff. So nothing exciting. Um, but again, if you are subscribed or not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Give my, this video a thumbs up. It really does help the algorithm if you leave a, a comment. Even if you just open up the comments and put a little emoji. They don't know that you're not actually talking to me. 
it just it really helps them promote my channel more the more interaction I get whatsoever so sometimes I will do that for other creators I, I can't always comment on everybody's videos but I will try to open up the comments and at least put a little emoji in there just to give them a little bit of support and just let them YouTube know that you know they're being watched and communicated with again very very easy I put a line of hot glue I put the twine in the line of hot glue and then I just fold the top piece down over and that is it here are the final products uh, this is on my front door so the lighting is not great because the, the hallway is a little shadowed but this is how this looks on my front door I really like how this turned out and then my tiny little shelf here in the front entryway here's a look at that with the banner hanging on the front the little red truck and my sign all right here together right as you walk in the front door and I love how these turned out they were very easy to do but turned out really really cute and I really like how these turned out so let me know what you think in the comments below So what did you think of those patriotic DIYs? Very easy, very simple, and anybody can make these. I hope that you enjoyed them. I hope that you have a blessed day, and I will see you the next time. Bye.